No, no, not the granddad's allotment. So we're going to be doing a, a tidy up today. Uh, last chance before I go away working again. So a uh, big tidy up day. So I'll show you what we're doing. So just before we start and tackle all this, guys, we're going to uh, have a cup of tea. What you got there, Nathan? Some mango and strawberry because we forgot the milk because we forgot the milk so we're on fruit tea the day never mind so quick cup out and then we're going to start i'll just set you up on the tripod and uh, you can see what we're doing Right guys, hope that was quite short, but we've still got another half to do. Hasn't took that long, but we've left all our strawberries in, as you can see. But I'm going to move yours to the other side, so you can see all the other side getting done. It's quite a mess, because we we'll have to leave the strawberries in, but we'll have the pretty much everything out. So, I'll you here and put you back on time lapse. See you in a bit. So these are our um, Chinese artichokes and they've been in for two years now. They just keep coming back and coming back. Um, get rid of them. So they're coming out this year for good. So, I don't know if you can see them. Look like little maggots. But that's what, that's what artichokes. These are part of the potato family, aren't they? Uh, artichoke. Artichoke family. Artichoke. So yeah, I need to get as much of them out as I can. It is bad. Because otherwise, if you leave any in, I, I like potatoes, if you leave, leave anything in, they'll just... They'll just uh, keep growing. Well, these are what's grown from what was left in the bed last year. Yeah. They didn't clear the bed properly. Uh -oh. Like maggots, aren't they? Yeah, maggots. Not nice. They're lovely in stir fries and stuff. Uh, but I would, if you're growing them, I would recommend you grow them in pots because this yeah. just took over the full full raised bed. Right. You can see how many we've got, and I haven't even got to the to the edges yet. I have got two in a, a pot as well, again, which is just what I left from last year. But so, if anybody wants any. Got the growing pots, they are lovely because I say they're lovely in stir fries, they're a bit like a water chestnut. Yeah. Uh, but they are prolific, they're like artichokes, well, they are artichokes, but they're sort of rampant as well, aren't they? You know, once they take cold, they're quite invasive. They are quite annoying to just 
be there and like yeah they take a full year to go like don't they take ages to go you only harvest them in winter when the um when the, the leaves and that start to die back Around just full of them. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to go through this ground like a couple yeah, of times. Like, and I think next time if this dog roam back, we'll just have to go through. Get rid of it. I think I probably yeah. have to get rid of the soil. I mean, look at that. Soil. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. but, like. No matter how deep you go, it's just full of these. Follow them in it. I think if I get rid of them totally, I'll have to just look. Ground is absolutely full of them. So I'm going to pull the stalks out, and then I think I'll riddle, riddle through all the soil. They do kind of have the consistency of a water chestnut and. Well, like kind of like the strength of a a radish. Right, guys, it's just starting to rain, so we're going to head off inside. But I'll quickly show you before it gets too too much water. So we've all the beds. We've got we've got to sweep up and stuff, but we'll get that later. Yeah, I did. Uh, Start to do the Chinese artichokes, but as you can see. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of them, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna riddle all that bed to get rid of all the all the stuff and start fresh, uh, just to get rid of the artichokes because they'll just come back next year. But yeah, we've, we've made a dent. Um, I don't know if you can see this is this is comfrey, um, and it's actually grown in the box, uh, which had the tomatoes in, but I moved it across to there last year. The two boxes were here and actually grown it's grown underneath the mem membrane and coming through the membrane so i tried to contain it by putting it in the boxes but not enough to do uh this is my horseradish which is next to come out next time i'm here the horseradish and the jerusalem artichoke because although they look nice they never get used and it's just a waste of a bed um, and then the the flowers are starting to come up the dahlias and, and stuff like that I'm going to have to head in because I'm getting wet here. Um, that's me, my blueberry cuttings. They're starting to take take hold. Right, I'm going to head into the shed because it's, it's not chucked down. Sorry, I'm running. Right, so I'll just come in the shed. Nathan's getting his pot noodle. So this is what we've, we've picked. Sorry about the light, but... Uh, starting to get dark now. So these are just some of the beans and the, the, the beans for, for drying off the bolotis. Um, I'll bring these across, across into the light a bit so you can see them. So these are our, our walking onions. So they are the top setting onions. So I'm gonna plant some of them up. I've got some soil, I'm just gonna plant some of them up. Um, seeing as it's raining, I'll show you. You can see. But it's chucking it down. I don't know if you can pick it up. So we're going to finish off in here, starting to tidy up in here. The um, stuffing cucumbers that are choke are there coming down. Um, so these are all coming out the day, um, and the peppers. Uh, we just harvest what we've got, tidy up a little bit, put the tables back up for um, seed sown because uh, it's uh, it's nearly getting to that time of year. So I'll uh, do all this and then see you in a bit. Right guys, we've had a bit of a tidy up in here, got rid of the, the choker plant, put the the tables and that back up ready for the, the seed sown. Um, just sorted out my, these are my pine berries. Um, they've got loads of runners on them, so I've just laid them in the 
in the vermiculite and I'm going to water them in so hopefully I'll be able to take some cuttings off them shortly um, and get them out. I grew them from seed last year um, they've never actually produced a berry but I did notice the one in the garden that has got a white pine berry on so next year for them so yeah this is just uh, a harvest from, from today um, this was all the tomatoes from out in the garden um, and a few, few beetroot uh, and this is the received seed so we've got um, uh, what other the purple uh, there the purple potted uh, green, beans. Uh, be green beans um, and there the oh what are called the other beans Oriental? No, that's what they were. Peppers. I'm just going to pull these now. Um, we might water them for the last time and leave them and save the actually over winter, but I don't hold any hopes because it gets too cold up here. So, yeah, we got caught out by the rain, um, so we've had to stop and we've done kind of bits, so we're going to head off home. See you later.